the sci-fi AI guy Twitch stream in which I play um, Soma at the moment, um, a video game with both, yeah, science fiction and AI. Um, I am, once again, a bit wiped out, but take a break at the hour mark. around eight, uh, or I might decide at the hour mark that I am barely keeping it together and will thus only continue on for another 30 minutes, but we will see how we go. Um, am I audible? Can I, get a, can I get a chat confirmation that I've actually said an audible thing? That would be super cool. I'm going to sip my ginger cordial, not gin, just ginger cordial. Hello, says Rainbow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mmm. All right, all righty. I'm gonna take that as confirmation that my mic is on and I'm gonna hit continue and we're gonna load. I'm paranoid now, so I'm just gonna take off the mic and quickly check it. Apologies if you hear weird noises. No, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. Ah, brilliant, Saz can hear me. Thank you, Saz. Excelente, well, ugh. Oh, in case you didn't hear my um, mention before, I'm kind of wiped out today, so five minute break, take a breather, close the stream, and then... then restart the stream. Oh, more ginger cordial, more, more, more. It only just occurred to me uh, before starting this stream that the reason I need constant beverages um, is because I'm talking constantly. It, it, I hadn't put those two together uh, until today, which shows just how out of it I am. Well, no, I guess that doesn't really... <laughs> it's interesting. I mean, I'm out of it, and yet I put that together, whereas other nights where I wasn't out of it, I had no clue. So, yeah. Place of old as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got a, got a nice portion of the usual crew. Ah yes, Simon and Catherine made it to Theta and now need to find the Dunbat, a vehicle made for extreme pressure environments. Only with the Dunbat will they be able to enter the Abyss and find the Lost Ark. So I'm guessing this is like the second to last level, right? Because this gets us the Dunbat, the Dunbat gets us to the ending, and then the ending is the ending. Um, I did not re-watch last week's video on purpose uh, because it's occurred to me that while it was good to take notes from those videos, um, I've got a good feel for the game now anyway, and quite frankly I'm only going to need really in-depth notes on this particular work in my thesis if I choose to do in-depth analysis, like a broad strokes analysis in which I just reference the game and reference my videos, you know, with, with just the, the major salient points. I could do that without having to necessarily look at extreme notes that detail every character's name, etc, etc, etc. Like I feel like we're uh, on top of everything. <laughs> says, imagine if you didn't constantly mention your beverages, you'd need less beverage. Well, that's as may be. That's as may be. Well, a bit of gin before we begin. Sorry, ginger. Sorry, place of old. It's ginger, just ginger. No gin tonight. Didn't feel up to it. I took what could have been a sizable nap before starting this. So if that's a sign of, um, of where I'm at. That's right, so we just came out of this, uh, this sort of oubliette pressure chamber. Now we're scooting Hello? through here. Anyone there? As well, always... Catherine, we found Theta. As always, I'm in permacrouch. Oh. Okay, cool, so there was the save point. It's telling. Um, am I going to look through here and see a monster or monsters? No. So, this is bad, right? And there's ruin in there, which is bad. We knew that Akers was coming here. He may have come here without his eyes, but you know, he, um, Akers was on his way here to basically kill everybody on behalf of the Warden unit. This is, this is Akers' assumption, right? That if he just kills everyone, he's doing the right thing. Oh, in fact, this is the remains of people, right? This has to be. This is his MO. Although, we saw more sort of cogent corpse pieces before. So I don't know what this is. I mean, it's the same... Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, hazard. 
be careful not to trip on the goop. And it makes noises. Oh, it sounds wet when I step on it. It's disgusting. Swipe Omnitool. All right, let's do it. All right. So presumably, for me to get through those doors, I'm going to need another chip. This is so cool. I'd like to think that Akers, even without his eyes, placed that there after gooping several of his erstwhile comrades. Because OHS, oh, there's one over here as well. Or is it just telling you not to trip on... No, that looks like water. That looks wet, right, guys? Oh, chat's blown up. Ah, oh, Crafty's got a, got a cat. The cat, the best beast ever. Curled up, that's good. It's a good bean. Oh, Saz, the pixelation of this stream is enough to make me want to play the game myself. You absolutely, absolutely um, should play this game. Also, good point, Saz. What if Ak has created the monsters? Um, I would be interested as to how Akers would create the monsters in the earlier parts of the game. We don't know the timeline, and I guess we don't know if Akers returned, like, went from here back to um, Upsilon, where I, I started, I believe. Yeah, all right, so it's definitely this door, or this window. Oh, am I going to have to break it? Oh! Saz, what if he fucked... What if he fucked up WoW instead of the other way around? Yeah. Oh man, yeah, 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 because... Before that, there wasn't really... That's an excellent point, right? Is, is it, in terms of the timeline, it would be very possible for people to have, like, because we, we had, just to clarify my thoughts, there were audio logs of people running around and doing stuff, but they, they were talking about robots being weird, but they weren't necessarily talking about robots being people, right? That, this feels like a fairly new phenomenon. Oh, that is such a good point. You might have cracked this whole thing wide open. Uh, well done, you. How do I throw again? I believe it's, no, there it is. Okay, well, it's the option. That made a lot of noise, dude, but that's okay. You're a douche canoe, can't help it. Dude, just get through the window. Okay. Now let's crouch in the dark and consider our options. And also sit, Ginger. Mm. Place of old asking the question whether Akers uh, made the monsters accidentally. Well, Akers came here with intent, so I'd like to think it was... Well, I guess his intent wasn't to make monsters. His intent was to sort of make everyone at peace, right? That was his whole shtick. Lock, lock. I find it hard to believe that Robo Simon can't pick a lock or pull a, a flimsy door open. Oh, I guess I don't know how flimsy it is. Okay. Oh. Am I going to look in here and see a monster when this happens? Are we going to talk to Catherine? Hey! We're here. We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys oh, sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Oh no, I didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe, fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is, and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... it's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. Yeah, of course it was. Wrong. <laughs> it's... It's quarantined. Oh, shit. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? 
It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> I'll just unlock the other doors oh. for you so you can explore the station. Oh, Simon. Oh, Simon, you beautiful fool. There's no way it's that simple. Got nothing else to we say to me? We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's oh. the only way to fire up the dumb bag. Okay, so I'm not taking that back. Find someone who knows the security yep. okay. cipher. Oh, dear. Oh, I thought this was a door. Okay, I'm going to look closely at this. Or not. Not like zoom in close. Uh, Pathos 2. I'm curious what those red lines are. Shipping lines, maybe? Not shipping lines. Well, shipping lines for like... Um, well, there was a ship. Submarines or... I don't know, that's weird. I don't know what's going on with that. Mm. So as Rainbow, Robo Simon is not Inspector Gadget. But he should be. Yes, yes, you are perfectly right. You are perfectly right. Um, yeah, Warped. I don't know what they're pushing for with that. Because gameplay could go one of two ways, right? I thought the way they were talking that Dunbat was going to be already down there and we were going to have to walk, which is fine. I mean, I've done some ocean floor nonsense before. That's perfectly doable. Um, but finding that Dunbat's quarantined, the, the whole walk thing makes it feel like we're going to have to walk part of the way, maybe. Like so, or things are going to walk after us. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I like that Simon didn't take on the title of her hero. There was a moment there where he could have called himself a hero, and he sort of alluded towards it. And I don't think he was... Oh, excuse me. I don't think he was fishing for compliments. I think he just didn't know how to express himself. And Catherine led him there, and he didn't take the bait. He just said it's something worth doing. I really like that. I, it makes me like Simon a bit more. Um, I'm liking Simon more as the game goes on, which is good, because Simon has been a bit of a... Yeah, a bit of a dick nugget. All right. Crafty Devious, I mean, if all meat humans are dead, then what does a virus matter? At least you don't have a meat body turned into goo. Yeah, uh, that's very true. Um, yeah, I mean, if they can just get the arc fight off, all the stupid bullshit that's happened here on Earth. Um, I mean, again, that's the problem of you're saving versions of yourself for greater humanity and saving greater humanity in, in uh, backup form, in data form. But there are still people down here, well, maybe not suffering. I mean, the guy that we murdered last session... Um, he seemed fine, and I killed him just to get a, you know, a bit of metal out of his back. Like an arse hat. Oh. Alright, alright, site status. Theta, all systems operational. Hull, subcoat, intact. App 99%. Not sure what app means in this context. Armor, intact. App 84%. Oh, approximately. Duh. Uh, okay, so Theta's in good... ...stead. Life support, wow. So wow is... The life support, sure. Or, wow, is running life support or something. Um, air, clean, medium. Temperature, 13 degrees. So, a bit nippy. But again, I'm a robot. I'm probably fine with that. Pressure, A number. I mean, bar, I'm presuming barometric pressure. I don't, I don't know good from bad in that particular setting. Uh, 2104, 0116. So, 16th of January, 2104. I don't know what date it is. I have not been. I, I don't remember anymore. But I don't think it matters. Oh, I've seen these maps. Have I not seen these maps before? So this is a we are here sort of sitch. I'm not to go into those grey areas. I believe she's opened up the green one. Oh shit. Black box beacon? What a Looks like Ooh. all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? In the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Uh the habitat, okay, so the habitat's on level one, I'm presuming. Also, um, I forgot, so the black box beacon, black box beacons, I think they're the chips in the backs of people's heads, keeping, you know, constant check on their brains and what have you. Oh, this is delicious. This is actually, um, scary though, because like, well, not scary, but what the fuck? I mean, there's a lot of people there, but they're not going to be people. I'm not going to have happy, fun chat times. Although that would be the, the most hilarious third act ever, that the horror just goes away. And it's not even trying to be scary anymore, we're just having, you know, tea and dumplings. Because I've watched Serenity yesterday. Tea and dumplings. Yep, yesterday? Day before. Mmm. Gin. Je. Cordial. Oh, people talking about schnitties. The old... Old faithful schnitzel. Alright. Start. Here we go. Okay. Um... Wow. So, I have not been keeping track anymore. 
uh, but I was, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this slowly for my. Well, I guess I can pause this. Um, so let's let's check out the deceased people. We've got Bass, Kronsdet, Davis, Fisher, Hill, Bashkin, Conrad, uh, Sarang, uh, Finley, Grau, Freer, and Muron. So some of those names are familiar. Some of those names are familiar. Uh, Muron is actually who I'm... That, that's, the, that's the one that I'm wielding and carrying around. Um, missing. We've got Chun. We've got Linswall. We've got Peterson and Reed. So, maybe four monsters and the rest are corpses? Maybe, 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 maybe. Um, and then the people who are apparently fine. Emma Alvaro... Joaquin Defrien, 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 Joaquin Defrien, maybe. Uh, Sean Evans, Keith Forkian, 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 uh, Matthew Frost, uh, Maggie Kamarabi, she dead. She's dead. She has to be dead, right? Kamarabi. I, I thought she was dead. Um, Alice Costa, Nadine Masters, that's a familiar name, Peter Strasky. Oh, okay, so Strasky's the dude who's been, um, yeah, yeah, and Heather Wolchek, yeah, that's a familiar name, but yeah, Peter Strasky's been on a lot of the, the memories, the radio memories, because he's been the one from Theta contacting people at other stations, so I would love it if he was still alive. Um, he, he won't be. They're going to they're gonna pluck that hard string. John Strohmeyer, Richard Thabo, all right, and guests. So we have Jane Adams from Upsilon, we have of Lambda. Uh, Javid Goya of Delta, Vanessa Hart of Lambda, Chris Josic of Lambda, Baxter Rogers of Upsilon, Ashish Shankar of Upsilon, and Brandon Wan of Delta. There's no Akers on this list. And no Catherine. No Catherine Chun, missing. Okay. Okay. So she is nowhere to be found. Oh, webcam. Is it physics operable? No? I can't, well, I can throw a stapler though. I was going to throw a stapler. I'm not now. I'm done. Uh, is this meaningless paperwork? It is. All right, cool. Uh, what do these mean? Some, some vague status bars. Error. Error. Uh, status, status, turn the locked. Okay, cool. Let's hunker down. New things have happened. Let's not be too hasty. Although, this is not an area coming up where I could hide. Oh. Nope. But it's good to know that that's a light switch. I have learned. Alright, cool. Ooh, another quick moment to check chat. Which I do because um, you guys say incredible stuff. And it's, it needs to be read out because this is the only way it gets, gets onto YouTube, is me reading it out loud. Place of old. I'll stop. Let's play. Who is dead and who is a robot? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a shame that... Well, I, I could have taken a photo of that and made, like, a running tally and, you know, ticked off and on when I found things out. But, I don't know. It's possible this game just won't tell us, you know? Uh, Catherine is on that list. You're right, Place of Old. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, Crafty. Dang it, stream. This is a terrible time to glitch. I'm sorry, Crafty. That, that legitimately sucks. Um, I hope that it... Wait, what did you open then? Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out. Mention the red stuff. Ah, oh, this is why D and D. This is why Dungeons and Dragons or any role-play game um, beats a lot of other games because I could just have an answer to that, or at least you know an evasion of an answer. Oh, the red stuff goes under the door. Oh no, into the laboratory. Hmm, telling. Um. I'm going to start hoofing it, because I don't actually know where she wanted me to go. Let me go to that map again. Bang. So I'm in the main level. Oh! There was a door over this way that I didn't even notice. Natch. Oh, what? 
something going to come out of there that I'm not going to like? Yeah, look at that light. Oh, it's a toilet. Guys, that is the most ominous lighting, right? I'm not alone in thinking that. It's like spooky toilet. Well, you can go back to being dark toilet. Putting up with that shit. Um, is this operable? No. I feel like she wants me to go in here, but she won't let me grab the Omni tool. Find like, look at this. Find someone who knows the security cipher. Yeah, find who? Is this a button? Find Can someone I? who knows the security oh. cipher. No, 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 no. Must be proactive. Pantene, proactive. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to run while reading chat. Oh, oh, good. Uh, Crafty is back now. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay. Yeah, toilet, locked toilet. Yeah, not good, guys. There have been better toilets. So, am I meant to... There we go. There we go. So, I'm finding someone. But I know there's no someones, right? Oh, but this is a way down, maybe. Fudge. Okay, so we got we got we got nodes and nodules. Oh, oh these environments. Oh man. I think tunnels get me more What's than so corridors. What's interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. Got a bad feeling about this. Um. Is this the only operable door? So that big door over there, she won't open. I just want to make sure that this door does or doesn't open. Place of old, uh, go into the oozing red death place. I would love to. I'm working on it. Server access. Oh, these are both just server access, right? Where did, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I genuinely want to orient myself in the map. Maybe they wanted to keep close to the show station in case something went wrong. You're really stuck on that one. I'm just worried about my colleagues. That is so fucked. Look at that. I I feel bad. Um, I genuinely, like, it, it, it sucks that uh, I have to do this stream at a, at, the, at a slightly lower res. I mean, I could try and up it to, like, high quality. But our internet, I'm surprised it handles this. Maybe one day I'll try it with a game that matters less. But, oh, this game is exquisite. Anyone who uh, gets the onions together to play this on their own, absolutely should. Also, shout out to Onion, uh, what may be the best character in Steven Universe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Topical. Topical point of conversation. Oh, they both head downstairs. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's the corresponding... Okay, so that leads to... Okay, so if we look at the main level, the lower stairwell, so the lower left grey box, I suspect that leads to uh, the hexagonal box. And then if we look at the lower right grey box, I suspect that heads to um, the lower... Although it went up. Is that a stairwell leading up? Well, yeah, I should... Yeah, I want to check out that room. I want to go up before I go down. Are you kidding me? Alright, let me pop a crouch. Oh, see, I, I'm so bad at this game. Ah, oh, dear, 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 dear. Saz Rainbow, oh man, fuck sensor lights. Yeah, you're fucking telling me. Place of old, I'm of a mind not to trust Catherine. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, Hyperion Sky, biggest understatement ever. I have a bad feeling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're doing a little bit of the horror tropes. I don't mind that. I don't mind that because... That's the thing about cliches, right? Cliches and, and tropes, when they're done poorly, they, they stand out. They stand out so bad because they bring you out of it. At least they do for me, right? What they show you is that, you know, the writers weren't trying hard enough or... Oh, am I wrong about everything? Is... <gasps> it goes up and not down. Guys. Wait, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. I'm going this way. I'm going this way because God damn it. Hopefully I don't miss out on content. Um, 
I know that Crafty isn't too afraid of spoilers and, you know. Oh, okay. Yet another workroom. Guys, I just thought I heard, like, whispered talking. Oh, shit. Yeah, did anybody else hear talking? Oh, those noises. Yeah, they have ramped it up. This is some third act uh, good stuff. <laughs> I promise, I promise you I'm doing a PhD. I fucking promise you. Oh dear. Appearance guy, do it, we have your back. You, yes you do. Because I, you must. Um, you gonna turn the light on here, lady? You gonna help me out? I have to turn this on on my own. Oh, okay. Nope. We're not going there yet. Because Simon is a pansy. And I've had bad monster experiences in this game, as several of you know, in the ship. The ship was awful. And I just don't know what I'm going to be pitted against. Granted, uh, a case could be made for me pushing on through because of that, and sort of discovering what horrible thing they want to inflict upon me? I don't know. Okay, okay. People only hear me talking? I, 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 I'm, I'm clearly just going mad then. I'm gonna sip some ginger cordial for, for stamina. Oh, all right, all right. Oh wow, that last sip really hurt my throat. Oh, it had, um, oh, hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the mic because I'm about to cough. And I'm back. Sorry about that guys, just had to... Ooh, just had to clear my throat there. Oh, okay, so that might actually be what ends the stream, um, if my throat gets too much worse. Uh, there were little bits of, I guess, flavour sediment. <laughs> you know how, um, it, it was sort of, it's sort of a fancy ginger cordial, so there are bits in it. Uh, I, I'm assuming they're premium bits. You know, only the finest bits go into our ginger cordial. But there was a whole bunch of them at the bottom of that glass, and I, I don't know whether they just stuck to my throat or got into already inflamed parts or something, because I already have a bit of a niggly throat. But that was batshit. Like, that, that actually hurt quite a bit. Um, and I've had throat problems recently, so I'm a bit cautious. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so, so that's the whole point of those lights, right? It's like, oh no, the lights. All right, let's hide in this closet until we learn more. Oh good, because there's never been a monster in a bathroom. So this whole place is jacked, and what's frustrating is it's so obviously jacked, and Catherine and Simon are, are talking like it's not. They're like, oh, everything's fine. Everything's been fine forever. Okay. Clear. <laughs> Ugh. Clear. And then the third toilet is where the human head is. Nothing. You know what? Oh, still steaming? Is it like a sauna that just never got turned off? I'm curious. As always, no mirrors. Uh, these ones are rusted? Some, some kind of all-purpose grime? Oh, wow. Guys. <gasps> oh. 
Oh, wow. That's powerful. That's so awesome. It's just finally confirmed. I mean, we knew, but well, now we know. Now we know. We know now. Oh, man, oh man, that is rad. I like that it's a quick time event. I like that it's, um, well, not a quick time event, but you know, like it's a triggered thing. I just, I click here and then I get the, that was so cool. Wow. So that still really doesn't answer the question of why. I mean, that's all I'm going to be thinking about now. Now that we've confirmed robot, or at least probably confirmed robot, unless he's gone like super crazy. Um, why was he woken up? Why was the suit in the chair? Why were robot parts put into the suit? Why was Simon put into the robot parts that were put into the suit that was put into the chair? Why? What possible motive could WoW have? If it was indeed the warden, you know, right? I mean, it could have been Catherine. Like, me, Catherine could have done it. I don't know why me, Catherine would have done it, but... Ugh. Damn, 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 damn. All right, everybody in chat's blowing up. Because they've seen the excellent thing that I've seen. Like, it almost, it makes it kind of dumb that... That he's a big scaredy cat. That he's a, 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 a scaredy pants person. And that I'm a scaredy pants human. Because... I can't be hurt. I mean, I can be hurt, right? Like, I can be thumped about and then left for dead and then I get another life, but I'm sort of wounded and then... And then I just restart because, you know, you have died, but... Like, what even? Does that remove the stakes? I will admit, it doesn't necessarily make me want to charge around like a, like a crazy person, but... Sorry, not crazy person. It doesn't make me want to charge around like someone who is reckless but it just changes that dynamic. What is the... Yeah, it's... This sort of ties into embodiment, I think. In the sense that as a person playing a game, or indeed as a person, say, reading a book, or a person watching a movie, um, one of the driving factors is relatability. And Simon's relatability has been through the first-person lens uh, within which the only feedback we get about Simon's feelings, Simon's personality, uh, is his voice, the things that he says, because we are seeing through his eyes. Then to change him from meet Simon into robot Simon, definitively, there's no more doubt whatsoever. Do we lose some of that relatability? Is it now hard to think of his actions as anything but sort of weird and mechanical? Or is it meant to blur the line enough that the viewer, the player, the reader, what have you, is then potentially going to relate to a machine consciousness or a human machine consciousness more? Is that the idea to sort of to break down that wall? I don't have an answer. I'm not saying this because I've got this figured out. It's just, it's very curious to me because I feel like something inside me has quietly sort of snapped off. There's been a, a slight severing of that link between, um, you know, what I would call relatable and what this game is now pitching as relatable or is not pitching as relatable. I don't, I don't know its, um, I don't know its motives as yet. We will see when it ends, but yeah, that is a, that's a big question. Ah, yeah, I am... Um, I'll play as long as I can, guys, but it's, this might even just be a 60-minute stream. Um, I'm, I'm, having, I'm having some trubs here. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, which is a shame, because I really want to just get through this game, eh? I just, I just want it done. I, w I want it over. Oh, wow. There's so much data here that I kind of want to go back to the downstairsy place. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hmm... Place of old, how does the stress factor work in this game then? How can AI get stressed? That is an excellent point. That is a hugely excellent point. And my, I, I would hazard a guess as to say that because Simon's brain has been reduced to a pattern, in, in this setting, in this setting, it is possible to reduce the consciousness of a person down to a pattern which that can be ported elsewhere included in that pattern is the fear of being stressed. Um, and so whether the stress, like, 
depends whether they take it all the way and do the sort of matrix thing you know if you if you nothing cannot live without the mind if you die in the matrix you die in real life like if, if he believes he's dying like is there such a thing as a sort of psychosomatic response in a world where the mind is completely separated from the original body that created it that inspired such responses it's a very good point place of old uh, very good point well made mm. just gonna check chat some more papers all over the joint can you read them I will check in a moment that is a very good point Empyrean Sky, it's like if the person's consciousness gets too stressed and they lose touch with the physical, but the circuit boards can't keep up. Yep, yep, that could be a way that they explain it. If they wanted to, if they wanted to port the physical symptoms of a meat body over to the physical symptoms of a robot body, they could do that in that way, and I think that would work well enough for um, a sci-fi narrative. Scientifically, it's probably complete hokum, but obviously they're already making some big claims in this anyway. So that this, you know, this is how these. The, the sci-fi texts get by. They have to patch in some areas such that the idea gets across. Um, I'm okay with that to some degree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Place of old. Before we joked about Simon being a robot, but he experienced things as a human does, stress, injury, etc. How does it work for an AI? Well, injury, I think, is more... Injury patches in a bit better for me, at least, because... It makes sense for a robot to be fearful of things that could damage it, right? So that is where pain is a very useful thing for a creature to have evolved, because what it does is hurt you, and hopefully then you won't be as damaged. You won't you won't just stand there and keep being burned. You won't you know put your hand on the on the stove top or whatever. I mean, think of the people who um, who physically can't feel pain. Uh, I can't remember the name of the condition, but uh, yeah, the amount of mental, the amount of things they have to check on themselves all the time because they don't know if they're hurting, right? Like there's all these little triggers that aren't happening for them. Um, so it's very useful when you've got a meat body, but even with a robot, it's useful because it hopefully gets them out of danger. Unfortunately, the downside to that is the ethical ramifications of giving an artificial being pain. But then do you make it pain or do you just make it a very alarming response? Like for us, it's, physically uncomfortable. It's something we really don't want to be engaged with. But if it was just an alarm, yeah. But then again, right, then there's the whole embodiment question of, do you look at pain as a purely mental process or you do you look at it as part of owning ownership of a body uh, in the same way that there are sort of physical elements to cognition. There are things that we think of and do and react to in the world specifically because we have a body. Um, and I would make the case that you can't separate the mind from the body for those sorts of reasons because um, it is the overlapping physical processes of the body and the brain that create the mind in the first place, as I've bandied on about many, many times. But yeah, in terms of injury, I think that is somewhat portable over to Simon as robot, but the stress thing is, is really weird, right? Um, I mean, if you, yeah, if you wanted to be really, uh, like, ported over completely, it'd be like, um, it, like, would it be a RAM issue, right? Like, is, is it a matter of sort of, um, yeah, physical cognition in that sense? Oh, all right, let's see if we can't... Oh, Saz Rainbow, I definitely just heard a voice. Well, thank you, Saz. Really makes me want to fucking come back here. Oh, okay. Um, what? Seriously? Oh. Okay, presumably these are lo intended locations. No, okay, I've seen that. Other one. Wow. Yeah, hella sci-fi. No, can't read that. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am so interested in that downstairs area. Because if this is just leading up and up and up, Um, I really want to check that other area to make sure it isn't a dead end. I do this a lot in video games, so I'm sorry I'm putting you guys through this, and it's doubly important here because I'm trying to get all of the important content. I think I can walk now. Oh, unless I've let monsters loose in this area. Hmm. Perry and Sky, it's like how people feel pain in phantom limbs. Well, yeah, right, but the thing is, is that if you've got an entire phantom body and then you've got this other body pretending to be the body, like, I don't, I don't think the brain could handle both. Like, I, I think the phantom limbs thing doesn't quite port over. Oh wow, this goes deep. Um, just because, otherwise Thanks, he'd be having Robert, it with everything. Be quiet, the proxy listens. What happened to Theta? 
No explanations anywhere. Kind of sounds like a warning. That's very telling, that I get more conversational stuff when I head down this way. Crap, I think this might be the, um... This might be the actual way to go. Why does this... How deep does this... That map made no bloody sense to me. I'm sorry, I'm, go I'm going back to that map. I'm going to try and port my knowledge. <laughs> See, now it's just humorous. I think of Simon running and I think of fucking Asimo. Like, I think of the various uh, robots we have invented here in the real world that can sort of caper about a bit. I don't... I'm, I'm just... I'm losing touch with who he is. Yeah, confirming that has sort of separated me from him. So that map just doesn't make any sense. Very intentionally. That map... Let me see. So I went... Hang on, so I go there... And then that connects... Where does that connect? What are, where are the stripey bits? Um... I... Do not know what it's trying to tell me about space. Okay. So I think, much as it pains me to do so, uh, I have to scour the area with the spooky noises and the closed doors and the flickering lights, um, because that's where the content is. Well, that's where the pre-content content is, right? All right, Simon, let's do this. <laughs> Could Simon dance like Asimo? That is a good question, says Rainbow. I fucking hope so. Man, oh man. Well, I'm on to my second beverage. It has nothing to do with gin or ginger. It's pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. Mm. Oh, so refreshing. Oh, so pink. It is indelibly pink. What if I go this way? Will I get another conversational tidbit? Am I not meant to open this? I'm being watched, right? Like, that's also true. So, if I do this, nothing. If I do this, something. Hey, Theta Laboratory. Oh, it's just content everywhere. Guys, <laughs> Theta's too big. I don't like how big Theta is. There's a chair there. <gasps> this is where the brain scans happened. Yes. Well, that room is going to have some bad shit in it. Let's go to this room. And blood. Of course, there's blood. There's always blood. Oh, it shuts both doors. A hey. data point this available. Is where I did my scan, and all the others, I suppose. You don't remember? My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. No way. That means that the Catherine I'm talking to has no idea how any of this went down with the rest of the crew. She has no idea at all. So the continuity, the cult of continuity where people were killing themselves, she has no idea at all. Wow, that is a great writing choice. Because it just makes me trust her less and less. She has... She has so little idea of, of what, what happened. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the art project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Uh. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300-pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close.
I wonder if Meet Catherine is the bad guy. What are the chances that Meet Catherine is the bad guy somehow? Both her and WoW, so eager to save the world, but so jaded by the people in it. Oh, man. Connection error. Troubleshoot. <laughs> Hang on. Gonna pause the noises. Sip my pink. Hmm. And check out chat. Oh, we got some uh, Mushin no Chin. Welcome, welcome. Look out the spooky window in the spooky room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I will. I'll get there. In time. There are no coincidences? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Place of old, unless she started the cult of continuity herself. Based on... Yeah, based on the thing we just had, I think I think that... Um, I think that breaks that idea just because she was... She's so upset that people are killing themselves. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, so good. Yeah, Catherine is so the bad guy. Yeah, everyone's on board. Yep, 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 yep. For sure. Let's troubleshoot. Bang! Error code, uh, letters and numbers. Unable to connect to mainframe. Please reset router and sublevel vault or co contact maintenance. Okay, it's just going to do this again. Well, um, sublevel vault. Let's keep an eye out for a sublevel vault, guys. Minimum one of you keep your eyes peeled. I'd like to solve a mystery, if at all possible, while we're here. So, yeah, so this is how it's meant to work. For research, cartography and maintenance. You sit in the chair, you enter the machine, and then the machine does cool stuff. Can I get in the chair? No. Nah. Damn it, Simon. We could go two levels deep. We could inception this shit. You're just a fucking coward. Alright. Very well. Very well. Oh. Oh, is this where I reconnect stuff? Ah, I see. What? Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. Man, everywhere I go, there's just premium content. Alright. Nan comp, the Nanami composition. Guys, I just want to make something clear. I can't close this door behind me, right? Hang on. <laughs> so, what my thought is... Here's my thinking. That a monster is going to come up behind me. Right? So I'm trying to game this shit. Watch this. Watch. This. Shit. Bam. Now, can I get under? I cannot. Okay. I think my idea is sound, though. I'll try one more time. I don't want to overdo it. Let's not, uh... Let's not overdo it. Okay. I can rotate the chair, correct? Bye. Stand up, maybe... Is it just too big and too heavy? Okay. Simon, just... You know... Okay? Dude! Oh, yes, yes, physics operable. Haha! -ha. Alright, check it out. Best Simon NA. Yes! Turbo Simon. Now I bet I can't get through. Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay. What if I take. Can I pull this? No, the door is too powerful. They really have thought of everything. Oh. Those handsome geniuses at Frictional. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Mushin, the chair is the monster. Saz Rainbow, the chair is Catherine. Yeah. Well, you know what? The treasure is the friends we made along the way. And those friends are chairs. Come on. Alright. If I stand, if I stand up. I'm so determined, guys. You have no idea. And it, it won't even, like... Well... Hmm. A monster would still appear behind me. It just couldn't get in? 
yeah. No, this is still worth it. <laughs> I still buy that this is worth it. Um, okay, can I... Nope. If I tilt it, is it tiltable? I'm fucking tiltable, I tell you what. Oh, it's this! It's this thing's fault. Alright. Hang on. How does the door close at all? Was I wrong about the door closing? How did it go through that? That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Look at this. Ah. Oh. Man, fuck you guys. That is bullshit. Those things get in my way, but not in the door's way. It's ridiculous. Okay. I'm keeping the chair here, though. <laughs> gonna, gonna block this door. The world's finest chair. Apparently it's just the best chair in A. That door? Hang on, hang on. Can I... I jump down, get past. Hey! Alright, chair. Now's your time to shine, buddy. And oh! Fuck. <sighs> I admit defeat. <sighs> Amateur hour, immersion ruined. Oh, come on! Robo Simon is best Simon. What would you do if you were a robot trapped under the ocean? You would do all kinds of stupid bullshit things with chairs. I bet cash money. Alright. Alright, I'll play the damn game. Nancomp. The Nanami composition. Type. Compressed. Nakajima. Neurograph. Continuous time. 21 minutes. Captured. March 21, 2114. Author. Nakajima Shin. Subject. Name. Nanami. Sex. Female. Birth. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Legacy scans. Oh, shit. These are legacy scans, and I'm at the bottom, Jared's at the bottom. Holy shit. So, yeah, the Nanami composition was Nanami. Erase data, no. Berg, paste files, okay. Author, David Munchy, so we're, you know, uh, this is scan 2015, April 28th. Okay, okay, some deets about this good. Um, yep, Canadian. Oh, Munchie got scanned. Munchie got scanned. Well, of course he scanned himself. Why did he scan me first? David Munchie. How did this... What is this? Uh, compressed, blah, 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 yeah, yeah. Um, continuous time, four minutes, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, it says when he died. He died, uh, 79, 78, 79, 69... 2021. Jarrett, here we go. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. A legacy scan. Audio recordings. Wow. This is... Wait, 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 wait. If I select... Can I... I can't go across to audio recording. Oh, yes I can. Yes I can. Hang on, I'm gonna sip some, uh... Mmm. Yep, yep. Alright, here we go, guys. Post-scan. Roadmap. Last recording. Okay, that's it. Wow. That was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... This freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are gonna run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well... I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Shit. So there we go. This is where Simon, this is where the personality of Simon divulged, split into two, because you have the resurrected copy for whom it was just one continuous moment, and you've got actual Simon after this. That's so good. Yeah, I, I much prefer this to a twist, I think. I don't think this game needs a big spooky, oh, you know, the people were ants all along, or fucking, I don't know. That was actually a terrible twist. Yeah, the game doesn't need that, because it's got this. This is fucking exceptional. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, return again. Roadmap. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. 
Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Ah, oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. Yeah, so to recap, uh, the reason that Simon's brain was scanned in the first place is because he had a presumably fatal brain injury. They, they were thinking it was going to kill him. And he signed up for an experimental scan with some PhD students, not even, not even doctors, just, just PhD students, uh, to get his brain scanned so that they could model the brain. Then they could take that, that brain model in computer, you know, run a simulation of it effectively, and then test medications and treatments on the simulation and see how they worked. And then if they were positive results, they would go to Simon Jarrett. If they were negative results, obviously they wouldn't try them. So it sounds like 18 days after the first scan, things were going well. They'd, they'd tested a regimen on the brain. So within, like, it baffles me how powerful the technology is um, in 2015 in this game, in this game world. That not only is consciousness and the brain computable, well, they didn't even say consciousness was computable actually, which is hilarious, but by modeling the brain, they modeled consciousness. So this really does follow the idea that if you scan the brain in finite enough detail, you have exactly who that person is on file. Um, and then, I mean, back then they could run tests on it. They could experiment on it and, and, and test treatments. Presumably they couldn't run the consciousness though, because this whole arc thing is quite a new concept, right? Like it, it took Catherine to dream it up. It's not as if it was well-known, well-established practice to, to scan people's brains and run them in various settings. Otherwise, the world leading up to the world in which the Arctic is created would have been a different one, I think. So, yeah, that's so strange that it's like taking a photograph in 1980 that in 2080 you can zoom in on on a near infinite scale and then recreate the world of that photograph just purely from that image. That's a very sloppy way of saying what they're doing, but that's, that's broad strokes, that's kind of what they're saying. That you take, yeah, you take an image at one point and then later on you can do the most powerful thing with it, which is to recreate its essence, which is in this case consciousness. <sighs> Fuck a duck. Crazy, 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 crazy shit. Mm, just gonna check. Chat, blah, 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 yep. People, people flipping out. <laughs> All PhD students are useless. Yeah, yeah, Saz, you're on it. You are correct. Oh, Empyrean, unless they were trying to kill him. Well, we'll find out because, bam. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. Man, you ain't kidding. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. I have the option to erase data. Let's be clear about this. I could erase... Simon. I don't know why I would. There were no other audio recordings, right? No. Wow. Oh, Crafty Devious, uh, Sci-Fi AI, can you replay this audio log after it's done? Some glitch. Yeah, absolutely. I'm more than happy to. Uh, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you that stuff. Well, look. Um, I'm trying to work. I'm actually trying to work out if I keep playing. Because um, I don't want to push my throat too far. I'm actually uh, teaching. Teaching for the first time later this week, I'll grant you. But um, no, look, look, we can do the ninety minute. Um, I don't, I don't think I have it in me to do the full two hours. Uh, so we're just going to push on until eight thirty. 
and then we're going to stop. Um, just to recap, if we were doing the two hour thing, I just want to make sure that I, I'm just going to say this now while we have everybody here, basically, the, the well, certainly the majority um, of the Twitch audience that I normally get. Um, what I'm trying to change into doing is doing two hour blocks or two hour long blocks. So um, one hour from seven to eight or, you know, around eight, take a five minute break and then from around eight until nine. Um, and the break involves me literally turning off the stream as well. That way I get two discrete files uploaded to YouTube, which is way easier than having to download a two hour file and then edit it myself, because no, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that. That's not happening. Mm. Oh, Mushin, no Shin pointing out, gotta erase someone. You reckon? What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI mm. construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're grateful learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed, I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. He's a dev tool? Really? <laughs> He's just a developer tool, that's all he is. Wow! So the fact that he hasn't been turned on, well, we don't know if he hasn't been turned on before, right? This one wouldn't know. Like, I was here all along, yeah, but, like, infinitely replicable here all along. Yeah, see, I love this game now more than ever because it's really dealing with the problems of computable consciousness, right? So... I don't think... Yeah, this isn't telling me I have to delete something, but you've got a point. I could. I could if I wanted to. And I think I'm going to. Right? Well, I'm going to delete me, I think. Because as, as Simon, I'm going to take a stab and say that a new Simon going from... thinking he's going to be saved into whatever place he gets resurrected into, that's not worth it, right? Because he's already dead. Like, he's, he's dead and dead and dead. Yeah, I think we erase the data. I think we erase the data. Hmm, Crafty Devious, I wonder if he consented to being in, in every dev kit. He could have been turned on in infinitely. Yeah, exactly. I mean... Um, but, I mean, Mushin brings up a good point. One version, one version could have consented. Um, but one version is speaking for all the ones who have to wake up and not know. Right, so this is a problem, and this is, oh, this is a meaty point. I'll try to make it quick. I realise I've been rambling a lot this session, but... If you can have informed consent with one of the Simon Jarrett copies that is booted up and run, he makes, he makes an informed choice about his brain being a dev kit item tool for all AI, and therefore capable of being awoken in this setting. He is making this informed decision because he knows all the facts, but informed consent, and correct me if I'm wrong, is based on the idea that you, you have all the facts, you understand it, that's what makes you informed. None of the other copies are informed. If they could insert that informed consent into the copy, and in fact, if they were to re-scan him or update the scan based on him saying yes, yeah, absolutely, but all the other Simons didn't consent to being part of this, which means some of them are going to wake up potentially in situations like this in the game Soma, where he probably would have said no, like, don't turn me on, I didn't need to exist at all, right? It's not as if, yeah, the fact that they're copies, the fact that it's all copyable, it, it really muddies the water about, about right and wrong of turning them on and off. It's, yeah, because we don't have clean answers, because there is no analogue in the meat world uh, to this sort of practice. So ethically, it's it's unexplored, and that's what this game is doing. It's exploring that. Oh, I love it. Okay. Okay. All right. Yet yeah, Crafty Devious, who is the author of the scan, who holds the rights, the scanner, photos are owned by the photographer. Very good point. Munchie, like, he just offhand said, yeah, said to Munchie, yeah, you can have it, you can use it. It's all yours. It was all legal and above board. And that's because, I would say, this technology was leaping ahead of the law, leaping ahead of the rules, right? And maybe they just never went back and checked. Maybe they just shrugged and went, well, we need this dev kit to make AI, so we're not going to, you know, ask Simon Jarrett's living relatives if it's okay. And hell, they might have said it was, for God's sakes. It could be their fault. This could all be his fucking mum's fault. 
or his, you know, his second cousin or some ridiculous shit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, goodbye, Simon. You know what? The whole world's fucked. We don't need more people. These are people who are already dead, right? We take that they're dead? Yeah. Simon's gonna make the call. I'm, I'm making the narrative call. I don't know whether I would make the same call, Ryan Morrison, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a moment to feel like Simon. To feel like I'm Simon. Say so, not. Nah. Fuck it. He's dead, Cat. The real Simon is dead. And I'm a replica of that scan Munchie did, thinking he's Simon. What did you expect? I don't know. I, I don't know what I was hoping for. An explanation? Maybe an apology? Oh, uh, I, I'm sorry. Not from you. I, well, thanks, I guess. I deleted the file, so hopefully I'll be the last Simon to suffer through this place. Ready to move on? Yeah. Let's go. Bang. Well, this was a super essential thing to go through. Hot damn. Hot diggity damn. <gasps> so afraid. Um, so that door isn't cool. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say that door's not cool. Um, okay, so... I want... This door... I actually want all these doors open. I'm, because I'm assuming if I go through that door and a monster comes through this door, I want it to be able to go into that room so that I can leg it down here. The legacy scan of me that was on the Ooh. computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them run free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines thinking they are people is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Wow. So, wow. So she is responsible for computing sentience, but, and this is important, computed consciousness, oh, well, maybe, maybe, okay. Let, let, me, let me talk you through what I'm thinking. So if we say that Simon was a template, if he was the basic layout of a brain that they just used, the, you know, not the platonic ideal, but just the one they had at hand, and then they used it to model brains for, you know, for, for K8, for Kate, you know, the little robot that was floating around and helping us and, and various other sort of semi-aware things. Obviously, they're assuming that they're not too conscious, but were they in some way also, Simon? I mean, because we as a people right now in, you know, 2017 and possibly they as a people there in the game, I don't know, it's hard to tell, but the writers certainly don't, don't understand how the brain works, right? Not completely. So it's hard to say whether if you took some of a person's consciousness like that and then swapped some stuff out or put some other stuff on top, there wouldn't still be some level of so-called Simon-ness running on in the background, right? Like if, if, if you're saying that the brain can be reduced to a pattern, then is it possible to say that you can take the the parts away from that pattern, add other parts, and it is just completely different. Like, there's that baseline level there, but, you know, are, are, those, are those other parts just sort of foundational bricks that make the brain work, but they don't make the brain like Simon, to, or, you know, operate in a Simon-like way? It's very interesting as well that Catherine is the one who, who literally invented the method, who, who literally found the way to take that modified sort of baseline concept of a brain that was just used for robots. It was originally based on Simon. And then to, yeah, I guess, yeah, they're sort of saying that it has to be sort of a shell consciousness because otherwise, how would you port another person in there without them becoming somebody very different? I mean, otherwise, Catherine would be more like Simon than she is, right? If, if what we're going for is a, is a sort of like, 
you know, a, a Simon essence still infusing the shell. But no, if you put someone else in, I think this game is saying that they are different. Yeah, okay, okay. Cool. Oh, man. Place of old is Simon Wow. Does this mean Simon is Wow? Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a good point. I mean, it's possible that based on what I just said, Wow is just the... Like, WoW would have been created based on Simon, but none of the other AIs have produced Simon-like traits. And also, narratively, they would, have, they would have hewn towards that already. So I feel like this was an explanation of why he was being used as a template as opposed to, like, a starting point. Um, not a... Not, not a thing that they're going to pay off on later, right? Otherwise, there would have been little Simon-like moments, like maybe somebody, you know, one of the monsters following us on the, on the ocean floor would have mentioned the grimoire... Uh, Simon's old workplace. Like, maybe something like that would have happened. Man, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Am I still? Yeah, I'm still crouched. I just, I always have to check if I'm crouched. Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, I pretty much lived in this lab. Did you know? And it's a dead end. Love it. Yep, that's why I shut doors. I mean, the game will just open them if it wants to, but um, I get a false sense of security, you know? Is it going to be the same problem? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, let's, you know, simulation assets. <gasps> oh, shit. No way. Have I got somebody's... I can talk to someone. This is what she wanted, right? This is the thing she wanted me to get. No way. Oh! Ooh. Hang on, let me check this room. For juice. This is where I would store the art scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. Oh, wow. Less dynamic. Does that mean that... Well, I mean, okay, so if she's ex advanced the technology beyond the scan of Simon, although, I mean, she advanced it such that you could, you know, recreate a person at all, but... If he's less dynamic, does that mean he can never grow as a person? So, he is afraid, anyway, as, as you know, a fairly natural response, but... Yeah, what if... I'm going to have to sit on that, I think. The fact that he's less dynamic, I think it just means that... Yeah, if it means he just can't grow as a person... Yeah, that... No, I, 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 sorry. I, I've been doing that a lot. Let's just further the game. I really want to... <laughs> I want to play more things on this channel. And that involves me getting through these games. This is going to be the same thing. Of course, that's fine. Just had to check. It's okay. Let's do this. Come on. Hey, oh, it's that thing. Gotcha. Fix that mainframe connection. Oh, fuck's sake. All right, so it is both things. Oh, you know what? The mainframe connection is going to be in the other area. Maybe. Maybe. No resources for stuff like this? Yeah, no shit. You're stuck at the bottom of the ocean. Ark calls for long form deployment? Yeah, yeah. Implement differently. Arc, something, something. Something, shield. Heat shield? Doesn't look like heat. <sighs> yeah, Catherine's a smart cookie. This stuff is, is wild. Alright. So that's where the arc was. I think. That's the big chunky arc thing. Oh, lockers. Hey, no, damn. Okay. So I need to go fix a mainframe area. That is definitely happening next time. They locked this place up, so that's interesting. Somebody locked this room. Oh, no. Somebody locked something in. You know what's in? Something that's behind that door. 
Oh, and I unlocked it like a douche. Like a douchebag. This fucking game. All right. Oh, that's right, mainframe connection. I have to leave this area. Okay. Okay. All right. Well. I reckon that's a good time to stop. Um, I'm going to take one last breeze through chat. We'll have a bit more of a discussion about what we've just seen. Feel free to throw around any other ideas. But yeah, I think, I think that's it for the night because I don't want to push my throat too far. Um, I should be resting it. I should be, I should be balming it with more fluids and so forth and so on. And I've been talking a lot. <laughs> I've been talking a lot this session. And yeah, this is, this is, a, this is enough to go on. It's been a, it's been a content rich sesh. Um, oh, I just really want to get through this game, but yeah, I guess, I guess having a meat body, um, I'm occasionally inconvenienced, uh, by my strange and disgusting flesh. Okay. Let's have a look. Says Rainbow, okay, so if he's just a template in a dev kit, why are the audio files even there? That's a very good point. That seems a really strange thing to keep around alongside, uh, his information in the system, um, you know, quite a while later, like almost a hundred years later. Uh, yeah, that's still hanging around. I mean, yeah, that, that's, it seems, it's just one of those narrative things. I think it was a stupid plot hole, but I think they needed the files there and this was, the best way around was just to not pay attention to it. Um, but you have, you've pointed it out and quite rightly so. Um, Mushin, load another person's brain into your head. That would be interesting, actually. Um, unfortunately, I've, I've killed Simon in terms of the backup, so it, Hopefully loading a person in doesn't, because I know that when I put Catherine into the Omni tool, I erased the AI helper Jane that was in the Omni tool. It fucking killed her outright. Or at least, you know, <laughs> maybe not outright, but they, they tried to make it sound like a, you know, straight up deleted her. Yeah, fix mainframe, come back, bloody door open. Um, crap. Crap. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Mushin. You're absolutely right. Shit. Shit, damn it, shit. That is so... Well, I mean, look, you watch a lot of horror, so, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, well, well, well picked. Good, good knowledge of form. Ah, uh, Imperium, it's taken him this long to realize. Yeah, God damn it. Yep. 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 I should have tweaked. Next session. Well, here we go. So. so next session, I'll be turning on the mainframe and then I'll be dodging monsters. So. If we look at next section as next session as being monster heavy, and this one was very content heavy, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the occasional monster sesh. I mean, hopefully we still get some narrative payoff. I thought we were done for, for significant narrative payoff. Like I thought it was all gonna be later, but this is fucking fantastic. Well, I, I thought we were going to get information at Theta, but I didn't think it was gonna be Simon Jarrett information or Ark information, not so much, maybe later on in Theta. I thought it was going to be what happened to the crew. And to be fair, by going up here, maybe what I'm doing is finding out this stuff before I could be finding out what happened to the crew. I did see a, a long corridor with names on doors and decided not to explore it in case I was, you know, checking out the wrong thing first. But there, there might not be a wrong thing first in this. I haven't seen... It, it hasn't been linear in terms of suggesting which path I should go down. Like, some areas are well lit, some aren't. It's... I don't think it was especially clear. Well, at least not to me, right? It might be clear to others. It could have been designed to be semi-linear, but I just, um, you know, went for the wrong weenies. Mm. Yep, yeah, we got a confirmed robot Simon place of old. It's pretty swell. Yeah, it's... <sighs> that moment, that moment really, really struck me. That was so good. Delivered really well. I'm so glad they did it. It was, it was good that I came up from a crouch. What's weird is... There are some players for whom they might have been standing and to go from the really, um, you know, rusty mirror to leaning in and it suddenly being reflective, it's a bit weird. It is a little bit odd, but yeah, it just, it raises, it still continues to raise questions. At least now we know why Simon was on file in the first place. I mean, I have to say they kind of hinted towards that anyway. It's not a big revelation for me because I feel like Catherine said something to the effect of, you know, well, because she said, why would we have a Canadian's brain scan on file? 
and they were talking about scanned brains and that stuff. Like, all they needed was a reason for me to be on file. And now I've got a reason, and it's, it's pretty big narratively because Simon is the baseline for all this stuff, and, you know, he's confirmed dead and woo audio files. But, yeah, I, that, that's not a big leap. It's an aha, but it's not whoa, right? Again, this is, this is because I've been thinking about this a lot. If I'd just been whipping through this, might have been more of a big revelation. Uh, but I think, yeah, the big, the big question is, why the fuck would you cram? Why would you cram that machinery in a suit? Let alone, let alone the problem of why you would put Simon in there, because Simon might have already been in there. How he got booted up is a different question, although that could be a wow thing. Maybe the warden unit fixed Simon's consciousness such that he was runnable, but then why would, why have that machinery in the suit in the first place? That's the, that's the weird, 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 weird question. Because he's so specific machinery, like, as you guys would have seen through the mask, there were just two little robot eyes on stalks practically, but within a helmet. Ah, oh, yeah, so weird. So very, very weird. <laughs> Mushin, I'm okay with the occasional monster sesh, and then Kappa. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Look, we'll, uh, we'll get through it together, you know? I'll probably be drinking next week. I wasn't drinking this week, but I'll probably drink next week. We'll get through the monster. It is my hope that it's not bullshit, right? Because it was bullshit last time with that bullshit ship level. That wasn't even scary. That was just dumb. That was so frustrating. Like, I was okay being freaked out by other monsters. Like, I liked the, you know, the, the trepidation and the scary sort of stuff. But the inability to even look at it and then to even explore the map was just fucked. It was just turbo fucked. Anyway, Empyrean, it was odd he had no reaction to his reflection. He reacted a bit, I mean, he looked at his hand, but here's the thing. We don't have a face, an emotive face, to read off of in that scenario. Like, they played it small in terms of physical reaction, all they gave us was him looking at the hand. So he could have, you know, thrown his head or his arms back, but that would have been a bit, a bit sort of panto, like panto villain or pantomime sort of thing. I don't think that's... I wouldn't have liked that so much. I feel it was... I feel it came across pretty strong. It, again, for me. For me. Um, if you feel that he reacted insufficiently, then that's a sign that where they pitched it wasn't maybe, um, you know, as strong as they were going for. Because it felt strong to me. Um, but yeah, they have to appeal to a, a wide range of players and viewers. Grafty Devious, not a revelation for the confirmation? Yes. Confirmed. I like that confirmation aspect. All right. I'm going to call it. Um... Thank you once again, guys, for coming along. I super appreciate it, as always. It's been a blast. Oh, I feel so bad because it's 8.25 and I normally go to 8.30, but no. My, th my throat is starting to hurt more again now, so this is absolutely the time where I say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Empyrean, more in terms of verbal reaction. That is a good point because it is actually hard to make Simon shut up. Not when he's wandering around doing nothing and nothing's being triggered, but, like, he said a lot of dumb shit early on in the game. Possibly because, you know, he was scared. But yeah, that is a very good point, actually. No line. Although, maybe he had dialogue and they cut it. Like, maybe they tested it with lines and it reduced the punch. So I can sort of see that. W were I writing that scene, I would be writing dialogue with an eye to removing that dialogue if it didn't sing. Anyway, yes, i got to go. I, gotta, I need to stop talking. <laughs> stop saying amazing, great things. Um... Bye, guys. Oh, that's right. I need to be holding the controller to do this. Um, save and exit. Oh, and in case uh, nobody's noticed, the loading screen face is super fucked up now. The menu face. Oh, brain. Simon's brain, actually. That's, that's Simon's brain. That's the scan of his brain, I reckon. It's fair to say. Yeah, look how fucked that is. Oh, so good. It's beautiful. All right, guys. And out.